Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the final installment of Prepart videos, aka Camp NaNoWriMo Prep. We have just a few days left before April begins and camp starts. And oh my gosh, it is so soon. Like, does anyone else feel the slight panic boiling up? Because even though I've prepped so much, I just always get a little bit antsy. <laughs> I think this is just the general excitement I always get during NaNo because I know that I'm fully prepped, I'm prepped out, I'm preptastic. <sighs> no. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the final stage, which is covering the wants. At this point, you will likely know your main character, hopefully also some other major or minor characters, but it doesn't matter. So long as you have one, because what we're going to do is identify what they want at each stage of Freytag's pyramid, because this will obviously change. Not in a huge way necessarily, like an example would be the Hunger Games. At the start, Katniss just wants to help her sister by hunting and getting her food and making sure that she'll be okay. And then at the reaping, when her sister's name is called, her want totally changes, because that's when she volunteers her herself and her sister's stead and then her whole mission is survival at that point. So basically the exposition want is different from the rising action want. Want, want, want. I personally think this is the most important thing to write down or realize kind of going into camp or into NaNoWriMo if you can because if you do go off track from your outline or you throw in additional scenes you have some kind of continuity. You're constantly working towards what your character wants in this phase of Freytag's Pyramid. So even if the scene's gonna change, even if the characters in the scene change, even if all of this stuff changes, the motivation, arguably the heart of the story, is still there. This also hugely helps for like editing and revisions and honestly a lot of prep. <laughs> This is actually why I prep. It's not necessarily for this first stage because the first stage I'm usually pretty good at writing because honestly I would just write whatever. Prepping is what helps me after. It's what helps me move on from camp or from NaNoWriMo and like make sense of the story that I've created. <laughs> because on the 30th I'll be sitting there with a shiny new draft or a part of a new draft and just being like what have I done? <laughs> I will say identifying the wants is sometimes really easy, but sometimes it is hard. And when it's hard, that's usually a clue for me that I don't have the character fully fleshed out. And that is okay. You can continue writing with that. And I think that's actually some of the fun exploratory part of writing is figuring out what the character wants. It's just good to go into Nano or to camp thinking about that. Sometimes it just comes to you as you're writing and that's okay. So I'm going to write all of this down for the main characters that I currently know about and again I turn to my actual drawing for this just so I can visualize it. I also like to have my note cards aligned with it because it helps me keep in mind what I'm doing and where I'm going and how the scenes relate. All right that's it for our final camp nano prep. <laughs> Please comment down below and let me know what your final stage of prepping for Camp NaNoWriMo is. Is it choosing a title or do you already have one? And if so, please comment down below and let me know about that too. I'm really curious. And are you planning on getting a head start by writing extra on Sunday on the first day of April? <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon with a new video. Bye. Some... Mm, oof. And let me know what your final stage... Blah, 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 blah.